Okay. Let's move on a little bit to the future now. Every other Airbus out there that I've seen, um, I don't know about you, but my biggest pet peeve, my biggest problem with it when I look at those displays is the font. I don't like aerial fonts shown in an Airbus. We've developed our own font. It's the real Airbus font you can see here. <coughs> We have pop-up panels, as you saw here, to show the operating cam, the system display, and all of them are modeled to perfection. Ah, we even see that the doors are open, because I just opened them. Excuse me for making them huge. My eyesight is not what it should be. Can you see it better? All pop-ups are resizable, of course. And you can see whenever you pop up the engine warning display in the SD, we pop up the ECAM control panel so that you have control over those displays. So air conditioning, APU, engine, electric bleed, pressurization, that ditching outflow valve that I showed you before. You can see here if I close it again, we'll make the outflow valve close. So such little details are what makes us proud of our product. Another little thing that I observed when we went to the cockpit in our numerous visits is something called magnetic interference. What is magnetic interference? I don't know if you know about the ABS on the map display. When you program the rad the radios on the uh, on the airbus, you get the needles in this mode, which is the NC road mode. Let's program the ABS here. We have a database of all the uh, VORs, MEVs, airports that show globally, and that we read separately. So you can program, I think it was MUN or MNE in the ABS. Still come up. And of course, it is because it's closed. Anyway. I guess when things are in development, sometimes they can go wrong. Going up to the um, lower pedestal, you see that we model for the thrust lever. You can have more reaction going with the mouse. And also individual click spots for the wheels, trim wheels, etc. On the first officer side, it feels like those map displays have not been initialized, therefore, we're going to reset the adheres again to see if we get some action going and an end going properly. When the adheres are not initialized, you get a map not available sign. <coughs> and what you have to do is reset the adhere from the overhead display. Thank you. And that happens. 
You go back to your MCU into your init page and initialize the IRS. You check the IRS monitoring status page, which says that the time to align the IRS is now three minutes. Uh, for the purposes of this demo, this totally, this this um, action takes about ten minutes. I've uh, cut it down to thirty seconds so that you can see how fast you can align. Something's wrong, guys. I'm really sorry about that. Something's not aligned. Anyway, I, I plan to show you this, but I guess I won't for now. You're welcome to visit the uh, website and see it in our demo there. Uh, I guess if you didn't see the 2D panels aligning, I better reward you by going here. This is our final. Part of the demonstration is our virtual cockpit. A lot of you guys wanted to see it. I'm going to smooth this aircraft a little bit so that you can line it up and see how it changes the light based on the angle of the sun. Much better. We are particularly happy with the way the reflections are done on our flight surface and all surfaces that have reflective ability. So for the first time, I'm showing you this in the Yes. <laughs> Can I leave something for the next demo? <laughs> okay. Let's go back to that uh, PowerPoint because I'm going to close with some very important to me topic, and that is technical advisory. A few words about our advisors and testers. Without them, this product would not be available. So, when he's not available, <laughs> at least have some of these guys handy to provide forum support. 
Thank you very much for your uh, time. Thank you for coming. To you. We hope to see you on our uh, website. Do visit us on our website. We expect to have uh, YouTube videos in the next week of the product. Uh, hopefully, we'll see a lot more detail of what I didn't, uh, wasn't able to show you today in one hour. Thank you very much again.